Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is vortex tube. Vortex tube consists of the following part that is nozzle, orifice or diaphragm, throttle valve, switch chamber, cold air side and hot air side. So, the compressed air is supplied to the vortex tube. So, let us see how it is. So, this is the vortex tube and the compressed air is supplied to the vortex tube. So, let us understand what is this vortex tube. Vortex tube is essentially a straight length cylindrical tube, okay, as you can see over here, in which the compressed air is admitted tangentially at the outer radius, which creates a cyclone spinning at very high RPM. At one end of the tube, Okay. It is partially closed with a diaphragm which is having a central orifice. As you can see over here, we have a central orifice. So, what happens is the spinning stream of air passes down the hot tube. This side is called hot tube and this side is cold tube. Let us see why it is called hot tube and cold tube little later. So, for time being, we will call this hot tube and this side as cold tube side. Okay. So, hot end tube and cold end tube. So, the spinning stream of air passes down the hot tube in the form of spinning shell which is due to the centripetal, centripetal acceleration and reaches the throttle wall. So, here you have a throttle wall. Okay. So, as you can see over here, you have a throttle wall. Okay. So, throttle wall restricts the flow of air. So, what we discussed, the compressed air enters the vortex tube tangentially and on the right hand side, as you can see, you have a diaphragm with orifice. So, the air which enters has this spinning action. Okay, and it goes down this hot end tube and it reaches the left hand side and there the flow is restricted by the throttle wall. Okay. And what happens when this flow of air is restricted? The pressure of the air near the valve is higher than the inlet pressure of air. So, therefore, it is called as high pressure region. So, the pressure of air near the valve is higher than the inlet pressure. Therefore, it is called as higher pressure region. Due to collision, what happens? There is a collision over here. The air collides with the valve. So, due to the collision at valve, the inner or secondary vortex is formed. Okay. First, let us see the first one. So, this is the warm air okay, which is coming out of this throttle wall, okay. but because of the collision okay, which happens at the valve, the secondary or inner vortex is formed. Okay. So, this you can see is outer vortex, but due to collision over here, what happens? A inner or secondary vortex is formed and its reversed actual flow okay, starts through the core, through the center. Okay. The reverse flow starts, reverse actual flow starts through the core. So, and that air is at low pressure. Okay. So, the outer, so the outer vortex is at higher pressure, becomes warm and the inner vortex which is at low pressure is cooled. So, as you can see over here, the construction and the working of the vortex tube. So, this was how it is represented in the diagram. So, how the compressed air gets divided into two streams. Okay. Now, let us see the symbolic representation of vortex tube. Okay which you can quickly draw during 
examination. So, both this diagram you can give the explanation for the vortex tube. So, let us see the symbolic form also. So, this is the vortex tube. Okay. I will have both together so that you can compare. Okay. So, this is the vortex tube. So, the compressed air is entering the fill chamber which is having a nozzle. So, and the air is entering tangentially at the radius, outer radius. Then there is a diaphragm which is having a orifice. Then you have a throttle valve and because of that the throttle valve restricts or there is a collision of the air with the throttle valve. So, here we have the hot air because the outer vortex is at higher pressure becomes warm and then because of the collision there is a inner cortex in the inner vortex which is formed and it is the inner vortex is having a low pressure. So, the air is cooled. So, as you can see over here cold air. Okay. So, this is the vortex tube. So, hope you like the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.